Hello friends. Welcome to our new series of class 7. In this video we will learn about nutrition in plants. Please watch video till end to test your brain, by answering the questions. Plants need both sunlight and water for growth. But how plants use these resources to prepare food for the growth and development? Let's find out answer for this question. The process of intake of food and its proper utilization in the body is called nutrition. Components of food such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals are called nutrients. Modes of Nutrition Living organisms broadly exhibit two modes of nutrition. Autotrophic Heterotrophic Autotrophic mode of nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which an organism synthesizes its own food using simple substances is called autotrophic mode of nutrition. Organisms that exhibit this kind of nutrition are called autotrophs. The green plants are autotrophs as they prepare their own food using carbon dioxide, sunlight, water and minerals. They are called producers as they produce food for other living organisms. Photosynthesis. The process by which plants prepare their own food is called photosynthesis. It is the process by which plants produce glucose by utilizing carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. The leaves of plants contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. This pigment imparts green color to the plants and traps the solar energy. Plants take in carbon dioxide from surrounding air. Water and minerals are absorbed by the roots and transported to the site of photosynthesis. Plants use solar energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. This oxygen is released into the air. The glucose is stored in the form of starch in leaves and in other parts of the plant. Photosynthesis is a process in which green plants use light energy, carbon dioxide, and water and it produces glucose, oxygen, and therefore it converts light energy into chemical energy. The food prepared by green plants is used by all other living organisms. Photosynthesis also helps in maintaining the ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Thus, plants are vital for maintaining life. Conditions essential for photosynthesis Sunlight Chlorophyll carbon dioxide, water and minerals. Sun is the ultimate source of energy for all organisms. Photosynthesis cannot take place in the absence of sunlight. A pigment is a molecule that has a particular color and can absorb light at different wavelengths, depending on the color. There are many different types of pigments in nature but chlorophyll is unique in its ability to enable plants to absorb the energy they need to build tissues. Chlorophyll is located in a plant's chloroplasts, which are tiny structures in a plant's cells. This is where photosynthesis takes place. Chlorophyll's job in a plant is to absorb light usually sunlight. Food webs in every type of ecosystem, from terrestrial to marine, begin with photosynthesis. Chlorophyll can be considered a foundation for all life on Earth. Carbon dioxide, present in air, is taken in by plants through small openings called stomata. Singular form is stoma. Stomata present in abundance on the lower surface of leaves. Also help the plant to respire. Each stoma is surrounded by two guard cells. These guard cells control the opening and closing of stomata. Stomata open when the guard cells surrounding the stomatal pore become turgid means swollen. And stomata closes when guard cells become loose due to water loss. Stomata are mostly open during the daytime and close at night. The roots of plants absorb water and minerals dissolved in the soil with the help of root hair.
water and minerals from the soil are absorbed by the root hair and transported to the leaves through a tissue called xylem. Xylem is a tube-like structure that conveys water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant and also provides physical support. Phloem, plant vascular tissue that conducts foods made in the leaves during photosynthesis to all other parts of the plant. Some living organisms depend on other living organisms for food. These organisms have heterotrophic mode of nutrition and are called heterotrophs. All animals including humans and the plants that cannot carry out photosynthesis are heterotrophs. Let us study different types of heterotrophic plants. Parasitic plants, insectivorous plants, saprophytic plants, symbiotic plants. Parasitic plant lives on another living plant and derives its nutrition from latter. The plant that derives nutrition is called a parasite. The plant from which the parasite derives its nutrition is called a host. Cuscuta is a pale yellow twining plant. It twins over host and absorb its nutrients using special roots. Rafflesia is a parasitic plant found in the forests of Malaysia. It has the biggest and the heaviest flower. Insectivorous plants feed on insects by trapping and digesting them. Most found in environment where nitrogen is not radially available, they use insects' protein as a source of nitrogen. Examples are Venus fly trap, sundew, pitcher plant and bladder wort. The trap is made of two hinged lobes at the end of each leaf. On the inner surfaces of the lobes, are hair-like projections that cause the lobes to snap shut when prey comes in contact with them. The leaves of plant modified into a pitcher-like structure. Insect trapped is directed down by hair in the pitcher. There the insect is digested by the enzymes present in the juices inside the pitcher. Some plants derives nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter. Such plants are called saprophytes. And the mode of nutrition is called saprophytic. Examples of saprophytes are, Minotropa, mushrooms and bread molds. The saprophytes release digestive juices on the dead and decaying matter. These juices act upon and convert organic matter into simpler form. These organisms then again absorb this liquid and obtain nutrition from it. Symbiotic relationship is a close association of two different organisms. In this association, two organisms may mutually benefit from each other. They actually get nourishment from each other. An example of such a relationship is lichen. Lichen is an association between algae and fungi. Algae, being an autotroph, synthesize food. Fungi, being saprophytic, absorb water and minerals and supply to the algal partner along with the shelter. Let's recall heterotrophic plants. Test your brain by answering these questions.
Hope you understand everything about nutrition in plants. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for such informative videos.